Nick, what are we doing today? Today we're gonna be unboxing the LiGrip 01 Lite. Okay. Uh, new generation of the LiGrip from Green Valley. The younger brother of the LiGrip. That's right. Yeah. This one is three times cheaper than this older brother, which is the LiGrip H300. Obviously, you know, for this price point, you know, we want to see if it's good value for money. Uh, box looks pretty similar, just smaller. Pretty small. Yeah. yeah. Okay. There it is. We got a manual. Okay, we'll have uh, to go through that. SIM card. Uh, oh. Okay, I don't know why. Maybe there's some sort of uh, 4G, LTE, 4G yeah. connectivity. That's super cool. Uh, it looks that like is... the handle is separate. We kind of have to... This look. thing is tiny. Can I assemble that? Nice. Sure. Well, see. that is actually the battery. Oh, yeah, this so the battery. The whole thing only weighs the kilograms, whereas this one is about um, 1.67 kilograms. I'm pretty sure this pointy little thing in the front is very similar to this one, where you can go up to a GCP put on the X, press the button, and essentially capture that point. So then when you go back into your software, you can geo-reference the points that you captured in the field, which is really nice. So as you're doing that, pull this thing out. This is actually the RTK module. So, oh, wow. So you can add, you can enable RTK with SLAM on this system, which is pretty cool. I mean, something that's comparable to the O1 Lite is like the blk 2 go Folks that have used that system knows that, you know, it's typically it's for indoors, not like very spacious yep. environment, and also doesn't support RTK. So that's pretty cool that it comes with RTK and SLAM. Yeah, and the RGB. Oh yeah, there's a camera at oh. the front. It uh, looks like the LiDAR sensor is on top, says LiveOx. Uh, assuming that's LiDAR. Got some buttons on the back. Got the power. Uh, there's some sort of start and stop button. With the LiGrip, you only get one button, uh, which you use to start and stop your scans, but maybe it has some added on functionality here. We got a USB-C port and an SD card port with an SD card in there already. So it comes with an SD card. Like much the way, lighter. The way much comparison lighter. is much lighter. Yeah. For those folks that have never used SLAM before, like, you know, by the five minute mark, your arm gets kind of gets kind of heavy. So to have something a little lighter is pretty nice. So the RTK module is an additional add-on. So it's 1500 for the RTK module. But for this price point, like you can get this thing for $7,800 plus an additional $1,500. That is $9,300 for wow. this system with RTK and SLAM. Is there a SLAM sensor that has ever been that mm. easy to get into? I guess with the price point, I, I know if you compare the price to the hover map or the H300, they're both in the, you know, tens of thousands, I think they're around 30 to yeah. 40,000 plus, whereas no. this one is. I think, you know, Green Valley has done a good job of miniaturizing this because I don't think I've seen a lighter sensor this small. So I think that's why how, that's how they made it so affordable. Like even the blk 2 go that was like, you know, 50 to $60,000 for something that small. Mm -hmm. So I think this is a pretty good system. But at the end of the day, we're gonna have to scan this to see what kind of output comes from it. See how the colorization does, the RTK module and the lighter data. You know, good job Green Valley. I like this design a lot better. Me too. Than this one. I actually uh, purposely brought my AirPods just to kind of <laughs> <They, yeah, laughs> mock the old design. design a little bit. So good job on sort of industrializing this design. The LiGrip H300, uh, it does about 300 meters in range. This is 70 meters in range. This is about one centimeter in precision. And the one to the right is about two centimeter precision. Now, obviously that's pretty reflective of price point and uh, what's capable of. For something like this at 70 meters, you really wanna, you don't wanna be, you know, too far outside. Like you're not gonna go scan this with a forestry uh, environment, maybe more BIM, agriculture, engineer, somewhere more, with more urban. Green Valley software ecosystem is really great. I encourage you just download a trial key, ask Nick for one, he'll send you a trial key and play around with it because when you buy a Green Valley system or hardware, either that's a light grip, light air, um, you can purchase a LiDAR 360 key, the full suite for an additional $3,600. So if you were to buy that software as a standalone, you have to pay $9,600. That itself is a $6,000 savings just buying the hardware with the software. We're all ready to take the scan here. I got the app loaded up. All our statuses are connected. We got LiDAR, camera, IMU, GNSS. Uh, we'll create a new project here. Uh, collection location, we're just at our office right now. Kendron office. Uh, we can change the project name, acquisition time. We're in an outdoor scene. 
why don't we set the operator to Jackie? He'll be taking the scan, whether it's sunny today. Uh, and then you can actually take a picture of your environment. So we'll take a picture here, set the back of our office, we'll use that. And we'll hit start collection. What I like to do personally though, is uh, always do a figure eight. This is just to ensure that it has a really, really good like uh, starting point. Also to do with the RTK, right? Yes. The figure eight? RTK, yes. Yeah. And why don't we take a look at the real time point cloud while we're doing this too. Um, looks like it's picking oh, it up pretty cool. pretty cool, hey? Yeah. Let's see, uh, looks like it's in height mode. Yeah, yeah. So as mentioned before, the camera here is only pointing forward. So it's only gonna get this side of the truck, for example. So if I want to make sure that it gets colorization on this side of the truck, I'm gonna need to point the camera this way so it sees both sides. So obviously that is, uh, you know, with the size and price, that's one of the limitations with this. Now, should we collect the GCP? Let's do it. Yeah, okay. And you essentially want to align this up. So the bubble is flat, so that the antenna is pointing straight up and go ahead and press. Uh, uh, I'll collect the GCP so you can change the name of the point here. Yeah. Uh, let's do lie grip zero, click okay. Uh, the status is went to collecting GCP. Okay. And it's loading. Can you hurry hurry up? <laughs> and it's done. Awesome, uh, we okay. Got our GCP collected. <laughs> it's great. I think we have another GCPs back there. So why don't we turn around? Okay. Oh, and when you turn around to yourself, you never want to just do two long lines. You want to actually want to cut into yourself. So we were over there before, so let's close the loop by cutting into ourselves. Right. See, uh, on the app, we can see the trajectory. Yeah. Did I cut into myself? Yeah, absolutely Good, awesome. did. Yeah. Well, as you saw, you know, this is you're not gonna get millimeter precision on this. You know, the total system error is two centimeters. So, as you're lining it out, trying to get that bubble perfectly flat is hard, but it's within the system's accuracy limits. So, what do you think? It works pretty much the same as the H300 through the app. You know, you get your real time point cloud, you get your GCP collection, you get all the same essentially the same workflow, uh, yeah. just in a different form in terms of the scanner. Uh, of course, with this one, you get the RTK, uh, which isn't a feature on the Lie Grip H300, unless you have the backpack. Yeah, you have the backpack, <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. And that whole system starts becoming pretty heavy. So yeah. this is clearly something for somebody who needs to grab and go, quick scan, RTK, you know, ideally you don't set up a base station and then off you go. So if you're interested in picking one of these ones up or want to know more information, contact either myself, Jackie, or Nick, and we'll be more than happy to do a demonstration at our local uh, headquarters here in Vancouver, BC. Or if you like, we can also do a virtual demo and we can help you with picking which SLAM system is best for you. We have the luxury of being able to play with so many different toys. We have the Light Grip 01, H300, BLK to go, Emerson. So we, we know, we, we understand the pros and cons and differences and all of that. So if you need any help with consultation, just let us know.